this is Leticia with episode 4 of Mind Your Thought. Today, I'd like to start off by asking you a question. What is the first thing that you do in the morning? I mean literally when you open your eyes. What is it? Do you usually check your emails? Do you check on your WhatsApp? Do you scroll down your Facebook timeline? If so, you are then bombarded with millions of thoughts that drive your emotions to the, to the floor. You see some friends uh, that are on vacation, you see the new car of your neighbor, you see people accomplishing things maybe, and instantly you start thinking and manifesting negative emotions like anger, disgust, fear, stress, hate, and whatever. And there it goes, your energy field right in the beginning of the morning. Of course, to the low vibration levels, because you know emotions are energy in motion. And today I'm gonna be sharing my amazing morning routine with you so that you adapt to yourself and you start your day by raising your vibrations, not dropping them and end up feeling stressed and sick. But before I do, roll the intro. Welcome to Mind Your Thought the only web series that brings you simple techniques on how to manifest body and mind health with the two most powerful tools, quantum physics and human body physiology. You see, the universe is like a supreme energy field and your vibration, your own unique energy field is a part of the whole vibrational field of the universe. You might have seen me talking about uh, energy fields before, right? Uh, but today I'd like to bring you awareness to this. You must have heard about nuclear bombs, yeah? And of course, it's immense power of destruction. I mean, what is a nuclear bomb anyway? Those nuclear weapons are, are made of uh, tiny energy fields within the atoms, okay? This atomic energy is so tiny, but it can really ruin a planet. So, when you think of the power of thought, Thinking about it energetically, I thought is nothing but a very tiny conscious energy that is more powerful than a nuclear bomb itself. One curiosity about your thoughts is that we are used to think that it happens in the brain and it actually doesn't. If that was true, bacteria, for example, would not be able to survive because they don't have brains to think. So, I bet you didn't know that, did you? Type here, tell me in the comments below if this is new information to you. If you knew that your brain doesn't think, let me know right here, just type, okay? Well, but Leticia, what does it have to do with morning routine and manifesting health. Well, in order for energy of thought to manifest into matter, in that case, health, there must be something to draw energy into focus because thought alone cannot manifest anything. You need the wave of, uh, of energy of your heart to manifest. So hearts, feelings, manifest matter. So what I'm talking about here is emotions. Once you have emotions attached to thoughts, that's how you manifest disease, health, money, love. 
So strong emotions together with focused thoughts is the powerful tool to make you manifest anything. Again, diseases, wealth, health, love, everything. When you lose that focus on your desired experience, its manifestation will be lost. So, if you want to increase your manifesting power of health, the first thing you should do is cut off distractions. Discipline your mind. Increase the emotional desire attached to what you want. Think about it on a daily basis and, of course, allow the universe to bring it to you. Or simply have faith and unattach yourself from the outcome. Uh, because in the end of the day, having faith is what is left to us. You have no other choice, have you? So, just let it go. Also, you need to take actions that support your desires. Basically, you must walk your talk. Because, yes, the actions of what you want must be congruent to what you think and feel. Your health, your sickness, I mean, this physical reality that your body is showing, whatever it is, health, overweight, body fat, emotional pain, uh, uh, stress, whatever it is, your consciousness taking a specific focus. It's a reflection of the frequency, the energy that your, your conscious uh, mind puts out. So again, I ask you, what is the first thing that you do when you open your eyes in the morning? Do you think you are nurturing your energy field with positive vibes or running your energy field with low negative vibes? The thing about morning routines are that if you start your day by setting an intention, not only with your thought, but with your emotions, and if you're acting congruently during your day, you are basically setting an energy field for yourself that will firstly manifest into wanting to go through your day. So that waking up early will never ever be an issue again. Ever. You will start waking up feeling eager for your day, no matter what time it is. Then you will see and experience how your day flows how everything you have to set for you to do is just either in progress or done. There is no procrastination anymore. You now have the focused actions on that thought and emotions you remember that you should have in order to manifest positive thinking, such as health, for example, such as good day, such as love, such as money. You see, your body is the shell of your soul. So whatever your soul is experiencing, your physical body will show you by manifesting something. Whether it's disease or not, or health. That's how intelligently our body, our mind and our spirit work together. So, if you're sick, it's not your body that needs treatments. You have to dig deeper on thoughts and emotions and uh, that attract the vibes that you're in. I'll tell you now four signs that you are in the low vibrational field and therefore attracting negative energy. Number one, you have problems. Everybody has problems, but if your problems are always someone else's fault, you are in the wrong path to manifesting health and wealth. Number two, if you're always telling about your problems when someone wants to talk 
about their problems with you, you have issues with self-centeredness. And yes, you are attracting negative vibes. If you can't stop complaining and life's a big drama for you, it means you're obsessing over negative feelings. Number four, gossiping and talking about people's, uh, about people behind their backs. It lowers your vibrational field. Five, feeling jealous and envy of somebody else's achievements. So if you want to change that reality right now and start manifesting your ultimate health, walk with me to change that exactly now. Now, Leticia, how do I get rid of all that emotional junk that we collect every day? First of all, you need to eliminate distractions and stop collecting those energy no matter what. Eliminate bad environment. And the worst thing you want to do in the beginning of your day is to take a look at other people's lives. Don't start your day like that. So stop the addiction of rolling your screen over and over on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp during the morning. Of course, you can do that later in the day, but don't do that until you've set your mind to yourself only. Now, when looking at my morning routine and what's working for me so far, when determining a morning routine for yourself, uh, you might want to add or take actions from it, okay? And the most important thing is that I've been studying uh, morning routines and trying every single one I see and learn that I read in books and, and see videos. The most powerful routine is really the one that works for you, okay? Because I work from home and I have a two-year-old kid in my house. So that morning routines that don't fit my schedule of mom, wife, and a home office entrepreneur cannot simply exist in my life. That's why I have, to, I have tried so many and adapted a lot of them to get to this one that I'm about to show you. First thing you want to be doing when you open your eyes is breathing. Okay, Leticia, I breathe every day and of course I wake up breathing as well. Yes, you do. Of course you do. But I mean mindful breathing. You are breathing in purpose. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. As many times as you want. You can have more advanced practice of breathing techniques on my other videos, but basically uh, you breathe. Okay? The next thing you want to do is take a look at an affirmation. Um, you see, when you wake up, your mind is really attuned and opened to receive new information. You haven't thought about anything yet, so practice one or more affirmations that you need to focus on. For example, I need to work with affirmations of not controlling, uh, so I chose one affirmation to surrender to the non-resistance power and I glued in the mirror and it's there. I'm washing my hands every day and I read it every time. But in that period, in the morning, is just the most powerful time to read an affirmation. Next thing you want to do is get physical. Either you choose Tai Chi, yoga, running, gym, whatever. You just get physical body to act and the heart to pump the blood all over your body and therefore making your muscles awake. Guys, 
lifestyle is a choice. So if you're thinking now, but Leticia, I don't exercise, what should I do now? First, you need to start exercise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm not kidding, but the point of this video is not to lecture you on what you know, right? But seriously, you just have to keep your body moving. It doesn't have to be a training or whatever, okay? You can do some uh, 20 push-ups, 20 jumpers, and you're ready to go. But Leticia, why do I need to do that? 20 push-ups, 20 jumps will not count as exercise per se. No, it won't. But again, it will make your muscles awake and your blood to flow more through your body. That's what uh, all surgeons do right before operating a patient. So, the next step is totally optional and you might want to kill me for that one, but I guarantee that your body will be thankful for it. You alternate hot and cold showers. When you do that, you work a bunch of things inside you from uh, working resiliency to boosting immunity. It improves your blood circulation, it reduces body inflammation, it relieves depression, it keeps the skin and hair healthy, it decreases fertility and testosterone and burns fat. After that, as I do intermittent fasting, I do not have a breakfast but I keep the ritual of sitting in with my family on the table and, and I have whatever I can have, which basically is a glass of sparkling water that I love with slices of lemon inside and after that, a cup of coffee together with a nice talk with my husband on the breakfast table. Then, after organizing the kids' backpack, giving her a shower and getting her dressed after finally, finally putting the kid to school and the husband to his office, I have the part of my morning routine that I'm most passionate about, which is setting my intentions with journal of eight daily steps that set my vibrations to the roof. By the way, if you want a copy of my journal of these eight steps to set your vibrations to the roof, it's one of the contents just inside my free healing room, Healing Root Cause, that I have launched this week on Facebook. So I'm going to leave the link here in the description of this video, okay? And all you have to do is click the link and you're in the group and you just download my eight steps to set your vibration to the roof. After that, I get into a meditation with a specific pose, meaning that I choose my meditation according to what I want to achieve that day. This is key. I usually work, it usually works for me to have binaural meditation. They work faster and better on our brain waves, thus enhancing the results. Usually, I open my communication to my spirit guides to support me during my day and my business, of course. You just browse YouTube for binaural meditations and you will find thousands of them. You just choose one that you like. Then after meditation, I am ready to start my work day with some knowledge and positive energy. So before I open my to-do list with a bunch of things to do, I have to accomplish, I, uh, and that I have to accomplish, I have this ritual, okay, of watching a video that show me some inspiration, that show me some results that show me some, uh, some knowledge on my field and then 
I'm ready to open my agenda. I'm ready to open my to-do list. I'm ready to conquer whatever heavy duty I have on my day. And besides, I have complete focus of mind and body. I have awareness of what I'm doing and why I'm doing. Plus having my daily decisions easy to make with the help of my higher self which I've connected to via meditation. This is one of the most important tools in my day. It, helped me, it helps me maintain my emotions controlled, my thoughts positive. It helps me build momentum with manifesting and making clear and simpler decisions for me business. So that I make less mistakes on a daily basis. And remember, that's what works for me. I, if I were you, I would start by trying out this one and experimenting and adapting what works best for you. And please, the only rule that you have to follow for it to really work for you is no technology until you really start your day. I mean, when you actually have to doing your work or whatever. Now, I want to know about you. What's the first thing that you do when you open your eyes in the morning? Type here below for me. Do you look inwards or outwards? This video helped you in any way. Hit the like button down here and share with your loved ones. Please share the love, spread the love, show love to people you care about by sharing this video. And remember, subscribe to this YouTube channel and so that you let me know that you are enjoying the contents. I hope you now have a magical day, now with the morning routines and namaste. Takes me higher, sets me free.